Whoa. Hey. Um, Gritty Urban Saga. Uh, I was just thinking I'm very hungry and I should probably make something to eat. And then I found all these ingredients on my counter. What a coincidence. Alright, so what you're going to need for this recipe of mine that I just made up, uh, I think you're going to need a white onion. Uh, you're also going to need, well this is half a white onion, you're not going to use all of it anyway. Um, about half of a shallot. Uh, if you don't have shallots, that's fine, you can just use regular onions. Also, canola oil. You're going to need a little bit of that. Also, olive oil here. It's really high quality stuff there. Um, also, um, if you just have regular olive oil, that's fine though. You don't have to. You can really substitute any of this for anything you like, but this is my ingredient. Um, this is my ingredient list here. Um, white wine vinegar. Um, this is going to be pretty essential um, for adding the, the tang that we're looking for, a little bit of it. Um, some regular iodized salt. Um, also going to need some black pepper. Fresh cracked would be preferable, but any pepper is going to do. And then so I have smoked paprika here, which is uh, one of my favorite seasonings. You're going to see me use that a lot if you watch my show here. Um, also, I got some swai fillets. Swai is spelled S W A I. Swai. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, I have a few fillets here now. I am going to marinate these, um, and I'm going to show you how I do that. All right, so I've taken the plastic off of a few of these fillets here. Um, it's a very unconventional method that I use to marinate things, so I'm going to show you that now. Um, right over here, I have two plastic bags, okay, and I, I've placed them one inside of the other. And so I'm going to take these fillets and put them inside this plastic bag um, because you don't want to marinate fish for too long. And I have washed my hands previously um, to, to handling this. You should always wash your hands first. Um, so this is going to be hard to do with one hand, but basically you just put these in into the bag. I'll be back in a moment. All right, so I have placed the uh, two of the swai fillets inside of these uh, plastic bags. The reason I do two is just in case there's a hole that I can't see in one of them. It's more likely to keep all of the uh, you know juices in there that we're going to be marinating this with. So now we're going to add um, a little bit of our olive oil. First of all, we're going to add the olive oil, so let me get the cap off of this. Once again, that's going to be difficult to do with one hand, but I got it. See, professional, okay? Professionals can do things like this, one-handed cap extraction. All right, so we're going to pour some of this uh, olive oil in here. You don't want to overdo it because uh, that's pretty expensive stuff, and it's, it's just really nice. A little bit's going to go a long way when it comes to the fish because we just want to kind of coat it a little bit. Um, so let's put that back, and then we're also going to do some of the white wine vinegar. Uh, I'm going to add that into here, so twist the cap off. Once again, one-handed cap extractions, okay? I actually get extra points for that. This recipe gets extra points. All right, just a little bit. You don't want too much. All right, so I would say that's probably... I don't know, four tablespoons, something like that. Um, this doesn't have to be exact by any means. All right, now we're going to cut up our onions. All right, so I've put the canola oil in there. Uh, I'd say about about four teaspoons of canola oil. That way there's good fluid around it um, so it can soak up all these flavors that we've put in. And uh, now what I'll do is uh, I wrap it all up. So just one moment here. All up. And you definitely want to wrap it tight. Um, get all the air that you can out of it. Flatten it out. Get all the air that you can out of it. And you just want to shake it up a little bit. Shake it that way all the ingredients get mixed together. Um, make sure to rub it around. That way the onion, the shallots, the oil, everything is getting all over these fish fillets. Um, and you don't want to marinate fish for too long because that, that can definitely ruin it. So we're only going to marinate this for maybe 20 minutes. Uh, so, so I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. I'm going to squeeze all the air out of here. I'm going to shake it up a little bit more. Coat it. Uh, you want to coat it on both sides. You'll be able to do this a lot easier with two hands. Um, but then once it's coated on both sides, then you're going to put it in your refrigerator for 20 minutes. Hmm. Now what to do with 20 minutes? Uh. Oh yeah. Let's go.
Yeah, E-Honda. Yeah, you better do that. Yes, I spent my 20 minutes wisely. All right, so I've extracted the swai fillets from the refrigerator here. They're nice and cool. Um, I've let them breathe just a little bit. And also I have a large skillet, large pan that I've placed over um, about 65% heat here. Um, and it's definitely definitely getting up to temperature here so we're gonna add these now you don't have to you know extract just the fish you can put um, most of the oil most of the fish and and all the other ingredients that we've added here so I'm just gonna do that now So let's pick up one of these hello welcome welcome to your well, I don't want to say doom because you already met that so your post doom uh, hot tub tan tanning tanning bed I'm gonna get a tan here now I love that sound when you just put fish right on a, a pan um, or any sort of meat and it just kind of sizzles and as you can see the the smoked paprika the onions everything has stuck to it and it's actually started to uh, soak into it so that's really what you want to see there um, don't want to marinate them for too long so I'm going to cook these for uh, three minutes, three minutes per side. So you definitely want to watch your, uh, your clock here. Um, if you put them in at, you know, 50, 51, you want to, uh, you know, turn them over at uh, 1154 or what, whatever time it is. You just want to give them three minutes per side. Don't be flipping them over and rechecking them um, because you're just going to set back your cook time and you want them both to cook evenly on each side. And you can adjust that time as you see fit. If your fish fillets are a little thicker like these are, um, you might want to do four minutes per side. Um, but just keep it even and, and don't let them burn on you. Uh, so I'm just going to let these cook here. I'll be right back. All right, so I've flipped them over and they're cooking on the other side now. Um, I can see that these uh, swai fillets have a little bit of moisture to them. So I'm going to drain off some of this excess uh, water that's that's came out as they were cooking. And uh, then I'm going to show you what I'm doing after that. All right, so while that is finishing up on that side, I am taking a sprig of this uh, gritty rosemary that I have uh, purchased from the gritty shop. Um, I know it's a store that uh, it's it's something that it used to be multinational, but it's kind of calmed down since uh, since their initial stock offering. Uh, so it, I mean, if you didn't get in on that on the ground floor, then you're just probably you're probably out of luck there. Uh, I think their CEO he either went to jail or he's a billionaire. One of the, one or the other. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just try to find some regular rosemary if you can't find the gritty one. And what you're going to do is you're going to pluck off all these little, um, they're kind of like pine needles, but they're thicker and they taste way better. And don't ask me how I know what pine needles taste like. So you're going to pluck all these off and then you're going to do the next step. All right, freshly plucked rosemary, gritty rosemary. And this is now done. Um, I'm sure both sides have been uh, gone through. And one of the easiest ways to tell on this type of fish is they have this very deep groove in the fillets most of the time so you can see uh, how deeply the uh, the heat has penetrated and if it's still pink in there uh, you probably want to you know give them a few more minutes but I have set my uh, oven to what have I set it to I've set it to 375 um, that way I can finish these up and heat them all the way through and what I'm going to do before I place them in there is I'm going to put some of this rosemary um, onto there I'm also going to make sure that it gets into these little uh, crevices that way it's it's really soaking the flavor into there as they bake um, so you're just gonna do that don't worry about patting them down uh, they'll stick in there all right I'll just sprinkle a little bit more of it on there now I've already placed a foil lined uh, baking sheet in the oven because I uh, I don't have a pan that has a, a handle that would survive the heat in the oven so I'm gonna have to take them out of this particular uh, pan as I place them in there so after that I will show you the next step 
All right, so now those are in the oven. I'm gonna leave them in the oven for maybe five minutes. Uh, that way they heat all the way through. If I see a little bit of pink in the groove there, I'm gonna leave them in for longer. So um, use your own discretion as far as those are concerned. Now these are uh, my mom's creation. My mom has made this portobello rice. Um, I love this rice, okay? Now if you want that recipe, um, you're gonna have to, I don't know, my mom's gonna have to make her own YouTube channel or something because I don't know how she did it, but, um, she formed them into these really nice shapes. And now we're gonna heat those up. Um, as soon as this fish is done, we're gonna heat those up in the microwave just to, you know, get, get some heat into them. And then we're gonna plate and I'll see you there. All right. So I've taken them out of the oven here. You can kind of still hear them sizzling. Oh yeah. All right. So, um, and the rice has been heated up too. So we're just going to plate these uh, along with it, and then I'm going to show you the finished product. All right, final step. I put them out here, and also I added just a little sprig of uh, rosemary for garnish, and also I did a little bit of olive oil. I sprinkled it across here so it gives it a nice glisten, and added just a little uh, pinch of salt on top, just so they really get that flavor connection. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it was informative and uh, hopefully you had fun along with me. And uh, I did in fact win that match. Uh, if you don't believe me, I'm, I'm putting up the whole video for people to watch later. Um, so yeah, um, I appreciate all you guys' time here. Hopefully you guys appreciated my help. Um, and don't, like I said, don't think that I am uh, an authority on cooking or anything like that. This is just me having fun and, and uh, I enjoy cooking, so I'm sharing it with you guys as well. So yeah, thanks for your time. Gritty Urban Cooking, Gritty Urban Saga.